Welcome back to Ceramics 2. This is a video about how to trim with a chuck. So as you get more advanced in ceramics, you might get to the point where you make a work of art that's got a thinner neck on the top and a shoulder, and then you want to trim the bottom. And if you put that on the wheel, it's going to wobble back and forth and it's going to be unstable or maybe even crush uh, the very thin, delicate neck. So what we're going to do is uh, trimming with a chuck. So an open form like this with a little wider mouth at the top that kind of flares out is called a chuck. Um, one that's like this that has a closed top for like a wider necked form that you want to put on, uh, this is called a chum. Okay, so uh, for this video, what you're gonna wanna think about is step one, how wide of a form do you need? I've got a bunch over on the counter for the level two students, so pick one that fits your form. Then uh, get it wet in the sink first. It's a piece of bisqueware, so it's gonna be fairly porous, or it's gonna be porous, uh, but if it's super dry, the clay doesn't stick to it as you try to put the lugs down and get it centered. So step one would be to center it on your wheel. Um, these are all thrown so that they're centered. So you can uh, easily use the uh, concentric circles on the wheel to get it centered. Or if you need to use a sponge to like draw the line on the wheel like I showed you in level one, um, you, can, you can do that as well. You can just use the line to trace on the wheel head and be like, all right, there's a couple lines and now I can take this and set it right on that line so it's nice and centered all right then before you before you stick it down do double check that it's centered um, they should all be pretty centered this one's like a little bit off there you go now what you can do is take some lugs so I already rolled out some lugs. Hold it in position and squish it down all the way around if you can so that the chuck or the chum, whichever one you're using, does not slide around. Then, if you take some wedges of clay and kind of squish them right on the rim. So these are like lugs sitting right on the rim. That'll keep you from damaging your work. So you do have to kind of choose one that's just a little bit bigger than you want so that when you put your work on there, it doesn't get damaged. So if I take my uh, like vase -y bottle type thing, I can set it on top of there. All right, now, we can go back to level one and you have a new, a new challenge. Not only do you need to have it centered this way and that way, but it also have to, has to be level from tipping right to left and back to front. So what you can do is turn that wheel on nice and slow. And if you hold your pin tool or other tool level, you can see where it is higher. So my higher part was about here. So I'm just going to rock it down. Um, now in class, I'm using, I'm actually using my phone to uh, do this video recording. So, but in class, I actually use my phone quite often to help center because it's got a leveling app on it and you can kind of level it out. Now, as I did this and held my needle tool just level, it was a little high on this side. So I'm just gonna lift it and reposition it. And once you get it to be level, as long as, as long as you get the top to be level, so there's the level top, and there's the almost centered bottom. So now it's leveled and centered. So the trick is getting the back and forth, right and left, and the front and back kind of level. Now I'm just gonna take this and just gently uh, pat it on the bottom to kind of gently squish it in to those lugs that are already there. Then you can take another lug and just gently press it into the form to kind of help hold it on. 
So you've got the lug that's holding it in place and the lug that's supporting the weight of the form. And those two together will secure it nicely. All right, now it's just like trimming in level one. So I'm gonna turn this on and you're gonna choose You're gonna choose where you want your foot ring. Just for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna pretend I want my foot ring here, nice and thin. I'm gonna sculpt out the bottom. So, you know, normally you would, in level one, I taught you to flatten it first, and that you should have it going fast enough that if you drop a little piece of clay, it flies off the edge of the wheel head like that, right? Don't have it so slow that you can compensate for it. Because if you can compensate for the slowness of the wheel, then you're gonna start trimming off center. So if I start trimming, and I threw this super thick on purpose, because I knew I was gonna do a demo with it. So, you know, be sure to check how thick it is so that you know where you're trimming to. Feel the inside really carefully. Okay, again, I threw this super thick at the base because I knew I was going to trim it thick, or no, I was going to trim it. But actually, the floor right here is not super thick, so I'm actually pressing it in. Uh, but the outside, I knew I was going to demo this. So, um, anyway, trim it to whatever you want. You know, now that you're in level two, I might say try to be a little bit creative with your foot trimming and instead of just having a straight foot. Uh, you know, maybe use this tool to make a fluted foot or a sculptural foot. This example is also way too wet to be trimming. I am uh, pushing the envelope here. So, trimming out that nice uh, form, trying to get that curve to come back in. Trimming out a fluted area. And leaving the top high. Now, like I said, this foot area on the inside is super thin. It's not super thin, it's just like thin enough that as this is rolling around, I'm pressing it in and making the like thumb foot here, it's like smushed in. Um, it's a little bit thick right there on the edge, so I'm just gonna trim that part out. It's, again, it's like so wet. I could almost just throw this and like re-pull it. Okay, so there's my uh, trimmed foot using the chuck. All right, so when you're done with the chuck, uh, take the lugs off obviously, and you know, if they're still wet enough, put them back in the pug bucket. Uh, if they're too dry or chunky, I'll put them in the dry clay bucket. Uh, put that over here on my leg. And if it if it leaves a few little clay schnibbles on the edges, make sure to wipe those down and smooth them out so that you don't have a bunch of like nasty chunks on your finished form. And then when you're done with this uh, chuck, make sure you put the chuck back on the top shelf over above where the pug mill is so that the level one students don't ruin them or drop them or wonder what they are, okay? So these are only for level two and above. All right, so that is how to trim using a chuck in level two. Thanks so much, bye-bye.